Hello crew, welcome back to the Gaming Ocean TCG channel, hope everyone's doing well. And in this video, we're unboxing the fourth set in the Shadowverse Evolve TCG, Cosmic Mythos. I was finally able to get my box in here, a few days after release, almost a week now. But it's here, we can get into it, and this set's pretty cool, it has a Code Geass mix, so like a Code Geass collaboration in this set, so you can pull some Code Geass cards. And some of those leader cards are pretty pricey, they're high up there. So let's see if we get lucky to pull any Kogi S cards and check this set out in general. See what it has in store for us. So I can't wait. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button so you don't miss any TCG content. So without further ado, let's dive straight into Cosmic Mythos and what it has in store for all of us. Boom, just cut the side there. Still in the plastic. I like to do the full unboxing in one go. Check it out. So of course, usually the cover card or picture is usually a card you can pull. And actually, on the back of these boxes, is pretty cool. These are some of the cards for each craft you can pull. So these are some of the new cards, right? These are pretty cool. This one's pretty. Look at this crazy monster. So this this one's super cool. I like it's like a dragon warrior. But yeah, let's go ahead and open here. All right, so we don't have like a box top or anything like that this time around. The last set, which we did open a box of a uh, Flame of Living Team just recently. I'll put the link in the description down below. Y'all can check that out, which had a cover card, kind of like a token on top. Pretty cool. So here are our packs, and this one's still 16 packs. So Shadowverse Evolves have 16 packs per box. So what I'll do is just take them all out. Put them off to the side here. Boom. Put the box back here nice so let's get to it pack number one here and actually what i did with the last time i think yep these packs are long enough that you can just simply cut it off with no fear i always have here i'm gonna cut cards but here we are pack number one we've got candelabra of prayers interesting is a haven craft once per turn when another amulet is put onto your field give your leader plus one well, that's nice. This is an amulet. Okay, it's an amulet card. Got magic owl. Has rush. On play, is this card a spell card? Or this card a spell to draw a card? And then when it's destroyed, you know, sent to the grave or whatnot. Same effect. This card a spell, draw a card. Pretty neat card. Pollux. Swordcraft. On play, if there's a non swordcraft follower on your field, give this follower plus one, plus one, and rush. Oh, cool. Got a forest crab card. Dolor Blade Demon. Ooh. So, on play and when is deleted or killed, deal one damage to each enemy leader and enemy follower on the field. Ooh, okay. Emperor's Command, as you can see, we got Lelouch here. Pretty cool. Abyss crap, huh? It's an amulet. On play, put the top two cards of your deck into your cemetery. And then with two points, put this card into your owner's cemetery. Select the departed follower in your cemetery and add it to your hand. So, you can bring something back. It's cool. Well, here's our first collab card. Here's our gold card Demon Lord Each Tar. Necro charge 10, so able to two abyss followers that have cost two play points or less in your cemetery. Put them onto your field. Give each follower on your field plus one plus one. And then necro charge 20. Give plus three plus three instead. While this card is on your field, each abyss follower on your field has a rush. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This guy looked like Ghost Rider. Medieval version. <laughs> cool. Gold card. Our evolved card is Frog Bats. Oh, literally a frog with bat wings, huh? At the start of your end phase, give this follower and your leader plus one. Mm, neat. And our token is Goblin King. Ooh. Ugly looking. Has ward and give each other goblin noid follower on your field plus one plus one. Okay. And it's a plus. It's a six six. That's crazy. All right. We'll go ahead and put the Demon Lord each tart here. And frame. We'll go ahead and showcase that. I'm going to go ahead and try to open up. Cut down two of these here. There we go. That way we can go through two packs a little bit faster. All right, next pack. Number two, we got Scale Berserker Rush. Whenever this follower takes damage, get plus two, plus two. Hmm. Like a frog dragon. Dryad, strike. Select the enemy follower on the field and give it minus one. Oh. Sister of Punishment. <laughs> she looks crazy. Is that like a... There's a wolf. It's like a chain ball wolf. 
Once per turn, when an amulet you control leaves the field, select the enemy fall on the field, deal it two damage. I think Haver hey, Crown is one of my favorite uh, crafts besides Dragoncraft. Then I think Forgecraft. Here's our legendary card. Our first one is Zodiac Demon. Ooh. Looks like Alexander from Final Fantasy. The summoning. This card of follower, select an enemy follower on the field, deal X damage to it, and Y damage to its leader. X equals the discard of followers cost, Y equals half the discarders, discarded followers cost. Round it up. How would you round up? Hmm. Interesting. Well, here's our first legendary card. It's crazy. The artwork's pretty cool, though. It's like a portal, like a tower. Yeah. But there's a front. Divine Trigger. Check this out. When this card is discarded, you may put it into your EX area. Select the enemy follower on the field. Deal it three damage. Ooh, Divine Tiger. I think this is also another collab card. I think he's from um, Koigi S. I don't remember him, though. Looks familiar. Perseus. Swordcraft Gold. On um, play, there's at least four followers in your field, including this one. Give this follower plus one, plus one. He is pretty cool. Our token, or sorry, evolve card is Tristan of the Round Table. Ooh. Board on Evolve, select an Arthurian card in your cemetery and add it to your hand. Oh, Arthur type card. I, I like that. I like the whole grabbing uh, real life into these cards. Pretty cool. Um, all the fables and stuff like that. Another Goblin King. So we're going to display our legendary card, Zodiac Demon here. The next pack that we just cut up. Check it out. Flail Knight. There's a lot of flail type followers, huh? Looks cool. It looks mean. Strikes. Select the enemy follower on the field. Deal one damage to it and its leader. Demonic Drummer. Oh, look, another musician. In the last set, there was like musician style cards. Ward, and then on play, or I don't know if you can do one or the other, like on play or every time, two points, but search your deck for a demonic drummer and put it into, onto your field. And then when it's destroyed, give your leader a plus one. Dragon's Nests. Put this card into your owner's cemetery. Give your leader plus two. If Overflow is active for you, draw a card. Amulet for a dragon craft. Another leader card called Dark Gene. Ooh. Haven Craft. Evolve this follower for one. On play, deal two damage to each other follower on the field. Give each other follower on your field plus two. Look at that. Another legendary. Nice. Two legendary so far. Lord General Romeo. Well, that's kind of cool. If there is a Princess Julia on your field. Oh, man. See, I, I love this. The cards they come up with, just things you're familiar with, is pretty cool. This card costs two less to play. Ward, at the start of your end phase, if there is a Princess Julia on your field, give your leader plus two. Swordcraft's kind of interesting now, to me. And our gold card is Grimnir War Cyclone. She looks cool. Just a normal follower. Evolves for two, and it has Ward. Hmm. There's a gold card. I'll put this behind her. And our evolved card is Dazzling Healer. On Evolve Spell Chain 5, your leader plus 2. So, Spellcraft. New token, Serpent. Has Bane. Abyss. Cool, look at that. Two legendaries so far. I'm going to bunch them up a little bit closer. We can have a lot more space to showcase them on frame. Hopefully. Our right, next pack we got here. One. Let me just kind of cut up a few here. We're almost done with that first stack there. I know it takes some time. I like to actually read all these cards, see what they do. I get fascinated with card games really easily. And I like to know what the cards do. Alright, so next pack here. We've got Ivy Spellbomb. Forest Craft. Select enemy follower on the field and deal it 5 damage. Combo 3, deal 3 damage to its leader. Octo Bishop. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty cool looking. Like a pyre wizard. Has ward at the start of your end phase. Give this follower plus two. Heavencraft. Ward, Astrologist of the Mist. Earthrite. On play, give each follower in your field plus one, plus one. Cetus. Evolve this follower for one. Looks crazy. A boss monster. Sukuna, Brave and Small. The giant rabbit. Evolve the follower for one. Gold card is Star Reader Stella. Do you like a mermaid? Nope. I lied. I thought that was a mermaid too. Spellcraft. On play, look at the top four cards of your deck. Add one of them to your hand. Put one of them into your cemetery. Put one on top of your deck. And put one on the bottom of your deck. Strike. Look at the top card of your deck. You may put it into your cemetery. Hmm. Good way to fuel your spellcraft uh, abilities, right? Miss Shaman for the Evolve card. It was cool. 
On a ball, select another follower in your field and give it aura. <laughs> Evan Craft and our token, Fairy Wisp. Let's display her. Star Reader Stella. Okay, the next pack here. Owlcat. That's funny. It also for one. Princess Juliet. Here she is. If there's a Lord General Romeo on your field, this card costs two less to play. Storm at the start of your end phase. If there's a Lord General Romeo on your field, select the enemy follower on your field and deal it to damage. It's going to be a pretty cool combo set. Venomous Bite. Summon a Serpent Token. We saw that. If there's a Gorgon follower on your field, give the Serpent Token Rush in a sale. Okay. Show of Loyalty. Here's another collab card. He's from Kogias. I liked Kogias. It was a great anime. Give your leader plus three. Draw a card. Earthright. Draw two cards instead. Grave Desecration. Put the top of the cards of your deck into your cemetery. For two points, put this card into its owner cemetery. Select the part of following in your cemetery and add it to your hand. Staircase to Paradise. Ooh. Gold card. Amulet. Whenever a follower is put from your field into a cemetery, put a soul counter on this card. And then put this card into its owner's cemeteries. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may reveal up to two followers from among them and add them to your hand. Put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. This ability can be activated if this card has at least six soul counters. Ooh. Interesting. Put that as a gold card. Our evolve card is Hippocampus. Oh, that's a thing? I'm only so familiar with it because of Final Fantasy uh, Raid Boss there, but I'll have to look this up. But this is a Hippocampus. Hmm, like a seahorse thing. And a fairy token. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put this staircase to paradise. It looks like a staircase to heaven. And we got Beetle Warrior. This is pretty cool. Uh, on play combo 3, give the solar plus 1 plus 1 in Storm. Miss Shaman, while this follower for one. Oh, there's the Miss Shaman. Mage of Nightfall. Intimidate Earth Knights. Give this follower plus two plus one. She looks like someone from um, Dragon Age. She looks like someone from Dragon Age. Star Torrent. Quick effect. Deal three damage to each engaged enemy follower on the field. If there is an amulet on your field, give your leader plus two. Goblin Princess. She doesn't look very goblin y. She looks like an elf, actually. Uh, evolve for one. Search your deck for a. Uh, pretty much a normal craft or a normal follower that costs one play point and put it onto your field. Hmm. Gold card is Trial of the Gorgons. Oh, they look cool. Stretch your deck for a Venom Fang Medusa, uh, Theno, and Uriel and put them onto your field. Ooh. Interesting Abyss craft. Our evolve card is Sukuna Brave and Small. Storm on Evolve combo 3. Give this follower plus 1 plus 1. 5 combos. Give it plus three, plus three instead. And another Serpent Token. Alright, we still actually have not hit a special Legendary. Been two Legendaries so far. And a few Kogi S cards. A few of them. But none of the characters itself, right? Uh, we got da Dazzling Healer. Evolve for one. And then if there's a spell in your cemetery, give your leader plus two. Armor of the Stars. Select the follower in your field, give it plus one, plus two, and Aura. Scorpios, Bane, Strike. The one damage to each leader. Oh, legendary card. Look at that. Spoke too soon. Ooh. She looks cool. Ward Wielder Ginger. It was for two. It on play you may put a follower from your hand onto your field. Its on play abilities can't be performed for the rest of this turn. It can't attack enemies. Oh. Alright. Shrider Assassin. She looks cool. It was for two and it has Bane. Hey, Lelouch, Leader of the Black Knights. I spoke too soon. Look, we actually pulled a character card. Here's a collab card. Lelouch, what do you do? On play an Echo Charge 10, so go to two Abyss followers that cost two play points or less in your cemetery. Put them onto your field. Give each other follower on your field plus one, plus one. If you had 20, though, give plus three, plus three instead. While this card is on your field, each Abyss follower on your field has a rush. This effect seems similar to... Actually, it seems similar to a Demon Lord Ishtar, actually. So I wonder if it's just the same thing, just you get Lelouch as the cover picture. Hmm. Because it has the exact same ability, these two right here. But hey, here's our first collab card. So it's a gold card. But we showcase the legendary here. Oh, another legendary. Wow, that's awesome. Hey, look, Levantine Dragon Defense Form. Oh, yeah, and this said they get the he gets its other form. That's so cool. I actually would like to make a deck with that with all these forms. 
It has ward. Reduce damage dealt to this follower by one. At the start of your end phase, give your leader plus three. This follower's name is also Leventine Dragon. Cool. And here's our token. Oh man, we got a nice pack here, actually. I don't even know what to showcase, but we'll showcase her. And then we'll probably showcase the Lucian stuff, you know, afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. Flail Knight, Demonic Drummer, Dragon's Nest, Mystic Ring. Oh, it's like Lord of the Ring. The one through them all. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Draw a card. Okay. Hmm. Freshman Lao. Search your deck for a spell that costs one play point. Reveal it and add it to your hand. Ooh. Oh. Yo, this is completely different. This is an ultimate. Yo, I've never pulled something amazing like this. Yo. The full art. Oh, this is. Check that out. My first ultimate pool. That's awesome. Cassiopeia, huh? All right. On place, like any number of enemy followers on the field and deal X damage divided between them. X equals the total number of cards in your hand and EX area. Wow. This is pretty, really cool. Um, I do actually have a sleeve here next to me. Let's go ahead and sleeve her up. Sick. Awesome. That's an awesome pull. Awesome peg right there. And next we got our evolve card as Feet of the Gentle Elf. On Evolve, give your leader plus one, draw a card, and our token is Fairy Wisp. Ooh, look at that. Well, okay, we got a lucky box. Heck yeah. Well, we got the other set of stacks to go. I'm just gonna probably cut a few here. Man, that's so awesome. My first ultimate pull. I can't wait for my first manga pool in one piece. I'm always worried that I might cut the card or something. All right, we'll go with these packs here first. Next pack. Let's keep going. Let's see if we get lucky. I wonder how many you can pull in a, in a box. We got Alcat again. Prince of Juliet. Cool. Venomous Bite. Oh, Star Sears Telescope. It's a bronze card, but it's special foil. Stack. Look at the top card of your deck on play. Caledonian Boar. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Looks pretty cool, actually. Haven Crab. Rush, once per turn, when Amulet you control leaves the field, give this all a plus two, plus two, and a sale. Our gold card is Fashionista Nilcha. Combo three. Choose one of the following. One, select another follower on your field and give it plus two, plus two. Or, select an enemy follower on the field and give it minus two, minus two. Oh, buff or debuff. She looks cool. Pretty art. There's our gold card. Goblin Princess. Oh, this is the Evolve for a Goblin Princess. Why does this remind me of, like, um, those animes and mangas? On Evolve, put a Goblin King token into your EX area. All right. And then Goblin King. So that's where this. Not going to lie. I may make a Goblin deck just for fun. Who knows? It looks just funny. I don't know. These cards are pretty interesting. We got Dazzling Healer, Armor of the Stars again, Scorpius, Venomous, Hoose Worm. Check that out. It's wild. I'll um, play this card a card. At the start of your main phase, this card a card. Star Priestess. That's pretty. Even craft. Banish an amulet on your field. Evolve this follower. So that's how you evolve it. That's a special condition. Two amulets on your field. Select an enemy follower on the field. Deal it three damage and give your leader plus three. Ooh. Gold card is Chain of Calling. Quick, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may reveal a follower from among them and add it to your hand. Put the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Spell chain 10, recover one play point. Cool. And hey, look, there's the Alcat Evolved version. Select the enemy follower with one attack or less. Select the enemy follower with one attack or less or one defense on the field and banish it. Megalorca is our token here. Cool. So our gold card is a spell card. Next pack, we got Skilled Berserker, Dryad, Sister of Punishment, Elf Songs, new. Summon a Fairy Token, combo 3. Give each Forest Craft follower on your field, plus 1, plus 1. Pure Hearted Singer. Oh, a musician. So I'll play Draw Card, and when is a Destroy Draw Card? Pretty good. Star Phoenix, our gold card. Oh, it's a Dragon Craft. That's pretty neat. 
The art's nice. Evolves for one. During your turn, when you play a Dragoncraft spell, for one point, put this card from your cemetery onto your field. Oh, like a phoenix. It rebirths itself. That's cool. Oh, look. Our Evolve card is a foil this time. It's a gold. Zoe, Princess of Goldenia. On Evolve, select the enemy follower on the field and banish it. And our token is Megalorca again. Cool. We'll display the phoenix. Phoenix pretty cool. After this pack, we got four more to go. Wow. We got Castor. Last words are two points. Put this far onto its owner's field. Oh, I guess I get it. I guess on last words, to bring it back, you got to play two points. So it's not like one or the other. And we got Mr. Full Moon. He's pretty happy. So on player or when it's destroyed, select the enemy follower on the field and give it minus three. Minus three. Dragon Rearer Matilda. Interesting. So for one point, put this card into its owner's cemetery. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You may reveal a Dragoncraft follower that costs three play points or less from among them. Add it to your hand. Put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. A searcher. Cool. Dragoncraft. Another Freshman Lau. Finnir. Ooh. Evolve this follower for one. During your turn, whenever this follower takes damage, select the enemy follower on the field and deal it three damage. Sick. Our gold card is Cyclone Blade. It's a spell card for Swordcraft. Select a commander follower on your field and deal X damage to each enemy follower on the field. X equals the selected follower's attack. Oh, that's nice. I'll put that here. And our evolved card is Magic Illusionist. He looks wild. Look at all these blades. Earthrite, last words. Put this far into its owner's field. Oh, comes back. Token, Megalorca. All right, we're almost there. Four more packs to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut them up now. That way we can just go through them. We're starting to see some repeats here and there, a few new ones in each pack. All right, that's it. The last four packs. So here is the next one. We got Star Chaser Sprite. Even craft for... So on play, two amulets on your field, draw two cards, discard a card. Star Sears Telescope, Tristan of the Round Table, Evolver for One, Star Torrent, Concentration, Give your leader plus three, draw a card, Earthrite, draw two cards instead. Ooh, Inviolable Verdancy. Here's another collab card, CC from Kogias, Gold card. With this card, there's own a cemetery, select a forest cast follower on your field, give it plus one combo, give it plus one more. Ooh. When this card leaves the field, put a Fairy Wisp token into your EX area. It's pretty. There's another collab card. And again, I wonder if it's just a mimic of another card copy and we're just getting illustrations of Kogia, so that's how, it's, how they're doing it. But regardless, that's awesome. Here's our collab card. And King Elephant Gold. Ooh, this guy looks wild. It's pretty sick, actually. Has Storm on Evolve. Get this leader plus X plus X. X equals the number of cards in your hand. Oh. This follower ignores Ward. Nice. Serpent as a token. We'll go ahead and showcase CC. I will put her down here. Next pack. Here we go. We got Frogbat. Banish two cards in cemetery while this follower. Aqua Nereid. Dragoncraft. Has Ward on play summoning Megalorca token. If Overflow is active for you, give it Storm. Starry Elf. Okay. On play, search your deck from, for an amulet. Reveal it and add it to your hand. Oh, we're running into some new cards. Ooh, another legendary. Python. Dragoncraft. Oh, it looks mechanical and wild. It looks very fantasy-like. Evolves for one. Search your deck for up to 10 cards and banish them. Yikes. It's got to be a mechanic that is worthwhile for this deck. Here's a legendary. Mystic Ring. Grin Revolt. Oh, here's another collab card. I remember her. Colleen, no, oh, Colin, I think. We play this card for five more play points. Select the enemy follower on the field, banish it. If you play this card for five more play points, instead of banishing that follower, banish each enemy follower on the field. Ooh, this is just a removal spell card. Holy crap, that's crazy. Another legendary, Howling Demon. Okay, I was going to say, we're not playing that many legendaries anymore, but here we go. Storm on Evolve, if Sanguine is active for you, give your leader plus five. 
All right. Oh, it's the musical ones. So it looks like the musical archetype. All right. Here we go. This was a good pack. And this was the fairy token. Wild. All right. Pretty cool. Got two packs left. Next pack, we've got Beetle Warrior, Miss Shaman, Mage of Nightfall, Magic Illusionist. It falls for two. Earthrite put this far onto its owner's field when it dies. Uriel. Oh, here we go. Put a Serpent token into your EX area on play. And then while this card is on your field, each Venom, Fang, Medusa, and Stino on your field has Aura. Gold card is Zoe, Princess of Goldenia. Here's the regular version, not the Evolved. So it evolves for one, and then on play, deal two damage to your leader. Wow. Put the, two, put the top two cards of your deck into your cemetery. Draw a card. Hmm. Our evolved card is Feet to the Gentle Elf again, and a Fairy Token. We'll display our gold card here. And the final pack. Will we get lucky? Uh-oh. Oh, we all know the token. So here's the token card. That's what got stuck in there. All right, let's go. Hippocampus. It falls for four and has ward. Feet to the Gentle Elf. Here we go. It falls for one. Knight's Way. There are no cards in your EX area. Put the top card of your deck into your EX area. Round Table Assembly. Oh, cool. Choose one of the following. One, search your deck for any Arthurian follower. Reveal it. Add it to your hand. Or two, Select an Arthurian follower on your field and give it plus one, plus two. Oh, search or buff. That's cool. Dragonute Fist. Oh, that looks sick. When this card is discarded, you may put it into your EX area. Select the enemy follower on your field and deal it three damage. Gold card is Andromeda. On play for the rest of this turn, your leader and each follower currently on your field, including this one, have this doesn't take ability damage. Well, that's cool. Protection. And Star Priestess, evolve card. Check it out. On the wall, select the amulet in your cemetery and put it onto your field. Cool, because the, the two that you discarded to evolve it, then you can bring one back. And our token. Sweet. All right. That's all the packs, actually. No more packs. Box is empty. And I'm going to go ahead and grab and showcase that we at least pulled one. Kogia's card. Oh, we pulled a couple, right? But... And put this here, and we'll put Lelouch, I don't know, let's put Lelouch up here. Alright, and the Colleen card, we'll put her right here. There we go. But that's going to do it. That is Cosmic Mythos, the fourth set in the Shadowverse Evolved TCG. Again, great TCG, great artwork, love the art. Can't believe we actually pulled an ultimate card. This is wild. This is awesome. Pretty cool. And of course, we pulled a couple collab cards from Code Geass. So I kind of like how they blended it in into a set versus actually having a completely separate set as they did to, oh man, there was that side set they came out with. So that was purely just based on that anime or that archetype. But I think when they mix them up, it makes it a little bit more fun. But yeah, we pulled a few awesome cards can't wait to see what people do with these cards what kind of decks they curate and what new archetype style decks they curate for fun and see they incorporate some of this uh, kogia stuff again like these two have like the same effect actually so i wonder if it's just the same thing but and their power levels are the same so and the cost so again correct me if i'm wrong i wonder if they're just um different artworks of the same abilities of certain cards let me know in the comments down below but that's gonna wrap it up that is a showcasing and unboxing of Cosmic Mythos, four set in the Shadowverse Evolved TCG. What do y'all think about this set so far? And what do y'all think about the Code Geass collab in this set? How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, support the channel, join the crew for more TCG content and openings. And until next time, smooth sailing.